new details in a deadly Amtrak crash on a busy travel corridor. The train carrying more than 340 passengers slamming into a backhoe on that same track and partially derailing just outside of Philadelphia. This accident killed two track workers, and these pictures here obtained by radio station WCHE showed the mangled wreckage inside a passenger car, more than 30 people injured on board. And as the NTSB opens its investigation tonight, the big question, why was that heavy equipment on the same track as the train? ABC's David Curley in Pennsylvania tonight. A smashed windshield, the Amtrak engine's front wheels off the tracks after the violent collision. I woke up to it being thrown into the seat in front of me and the window got blown out right beside me. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a, there was a fireball. That train could have been traveling upwards of 100 miles an hour. All you could see was a lot of, of dirt and debris flying past the train. And then there was a couple of sort of like fire flashes. Pictures capturing passengers evacuating themselves and walking away from the damaged train. At least 35 of the 331 on board hospitalized, many thrown from their seats just before 8 in the morning south of Philadelphia. Sunday morning is prime track maintenance time because fewer trains are in service. A backhoe is used to move rail ties and other materials. Officials say as the train was traveling south through the area on its way to Savannah, Georgia, somehow that backhoe was on the active rail line. The Amtrak train slamming straight into it, debris flying into the first couple of Amtrak cars. The engineer of the train was also taken to the hospital. The question tonight, which piece of equipment was not supposed to be on those tracks? As part of our investigation, we will be looking at the track structure and the work that will be that was performed at the time of the accident. The two dead, the operator of the backhoe, and a supervisor, according to a federal official. It was last May that an Amtrak train derailed north of Philadelphia at night. Eight passengers were killed in that incident. The two derailments, while unrelated, happened less than a year and 20 miles apart on Amtrak's busy northeast corridor. In today's case, many of the uninjured were bussed away from the scene, but tonight, limited service has resumed through this accident area. And David joins us live now. David, the big question tonight, why were they working on that track when that train was operating on the same track with that heavy equipment? And that's the big question. You can see the engine is still here, Tom, and the train behind it. Were, was the train on the wrong track? Was the heavy equipment on the wrong track? That's what the NTSC, NTSB will try and answer by looking at signals and talking to dispatchers. By the way, we've seen a number of trains come by, so it looks like for the commute tomorrow, it should be fine. Only limited service right now between uh, Delaware and Philadelphia at this point.